chapter four, with freshly smeared finger paint dripping from my grimy little hands and a new masterpiece that was designed for a shoebox in my mother's closet laid out before me to dry. I guess it really wasn't so fashionable back then to put bad art on the new frigid air, especially in that aqua green color, whatever it was. And I was leaned back in my chair looking as cool as any six-year-old Romeo could, and I envisioned kind of an Elvis Beaver Cleaver or like a James Dean, Dennis the Menace combination. Maybe it was more like Danny Partridge, <laughs> except I was pretty sure that I um, was as cool as and looked a lot more like Keith. Now I conveniently positioned myself so that I was sitting right next to the cutest girl in the class. Her name was Ann, Ann Balance. The irony of her last name, Balance, struck me many years later. And she was beautiful, man. She looked like Marsha, 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 and I was certain to be under her spell. So I leaned over when the teacher wasn't looking and I quickly kissed her on the cheek. And now what happened next was pretty shocking to me and prophetic to say the least, Miss Ann Balance, the first love of my life, stood up, kicked the unstable legs of my reclined art table chair right out from under me. Now that sense of powerlessness that comes, it, it's accentuated, you know, with slow motion. That effect comes, and apparently that's designed so you have a fair chance of fully experiencing the pending trauma, or in my case, uh, head injury. So, that same slow, slow motion effect does not seem, however, to improve the reaction time of an awkward and clumsy kindergartner like myself. My head bounced off the really, really hard but attractive 50s modern concrete floor and boom, out go the lights. Now we can, as a society, stop the evils of exposed screws on playground equipment and make it a law to wear a helmet while we ride our bicycles, but every school I have ever been in has these same freaking concrete floors. Go figure. But on that day, uh, another pattern emerged. I would psych myself right past my own insecurities and my low self-esteem by presenting an illusion of myself only to be let down. And on that day, I guess you could say I got my first mild concussion when I lost my balance while losing my balance. See, I told you it was ironic. The real irony, though, is in first grade, without much coercion, Anne became my first real girlfriend, and she willingly gave me my first real kiss on the cheek right after I chased her halfway home from school. I really did not want to risk that attempt around any concrete floors. <laughs>